All right. I am so, so excited, you guys. Tonight's Boomerang Call is hosted by none other than Kaylee McDonald, a.k.a. Salid, a.k.a. Salad, a.k.a. Salindia. <laughs> She's the girl with many names. Um, if you guys don't know Kaylee's story, she hosted one of our calls uh, a little while back. And she has been absolutely crushing her coaching journey since she went to Summit last year. It was really the fire that lit um, her up. She came back from Summit and she dove full force into uh, coaching. And she went from basically an Emerald coach around like October-ish, November-ish. Is that correct? I think. Yeah. Yeah. To like full-fledged going to be hitting Star Diamond soon uh, coach in like, so like under 90 days, under 60 days. So she is absolutely crushing it right now. Is going to share with us tonight her best practices for um, building and leading a team, especially when you don't feel like a leader. I'm sure that'll come up in there. And uh, anyways, I'm super, super excited to take notes. I've got, look, I even highlighted Kaylee team call tonight. So I'm going to mute myself. And uh, you can take the floor. Awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much for having me again. I'm super excited to be hosting Boomerang's call. Um, also, still nervous to this day. I host my own team calls now, but I still get all like palmy, sweaty palms. Um, <laughs> but tonight, I basically wanted to talk to you guys about basically how I went and built my own team culture, how I have kept sustainable coaches through this and built a true team that I am so incredibly proud of. Shout out to Morgan on her call. A couple of the girls might be watching later, Kim. Um, my team is everything to me, you guys. And it's something that I never imagined through coaching that I would have this kind of culture and have this group of people that just want to run with it with me. Um, and I just want to talk to you guys tonight about how to you know, sustain and build that team culture how to get those people to want to run with you and just be inspired by you and how to truly lead from the front. So I'm just going to start by just like saying a few points um, just to go through with the call. But um, I basically wanted to um, start it off with how I start my new coaches off on the right foot. So with all of my new coaches that sign up, I, of course, welcome the, them into the tribe and that's a huge part of it. So obviously welcoming into our boomerang tribe as well as I have my own team page um, and just celebrating them for taking that first step of becoming a coach because it's a super scary thing and intimidating, especially for those that are just in it for the discount. They don't really know what this co coaching opportunity is, um, what they're in for, what is expected out of them. So just welcoming them with opening arms is like a huge deal. Um, and what I basically do behind the scenes, the first thing that I do for my new peeps is send them a welcome email. So this is basically my email title or the subject is always like, welcome to the wonderful, wonderful world of coaching. Cause that's just like what I feel. And it's so exciting, all caps, just like yelling at them, but so excited. <laughs> and I basically put in this email, their first steps to take as a coach. So it takes kind of the guesswork out of it and they're not feeling super overwhelmed and intimidating starting intimidated starting out because I know when I started it was just like I felt like I got welcomed in I was added into all these team pages I'm like what is going on who are these people who are all these coaches and like I just didn't really know and felt very overwhelmed and confused and like the perfectionist like ish part of me which all of my girls seem to be the same because we're all we're all the same person um that perfectionist part in me was just like oh my god I feel like I need to like sit down and know everything. I need to watch all these videos. I need to do this and this and this to start out before I actually take action with this business. So what I do is just set, send them out. Um, the email has their first steps as a coach. So basically telling them how to access our boomerang, um, coaching handbook. So that kind of gives them their first steps as a coach. I attach that. I attach their, um, WA Ben tax form and their EFT management, how to set up their payroll and banking. Cause that's confusing too, just to get that, um, housekeeping stuff out of the way. And then I also explain the team pages that I'm adding them into. So for example, um, I have my own team page. So Kaylee's PS coaches, I have it. I have yet to make a team name, but that's coming soon. Um, so I add them into my team page. I add them into Marie's boomerang page. And then, um, I do tell them about the other upline, so Jen and Morgan's pages and our success covers page and stuff like that, but I give them the choice to add themselves in or not. Um, just kind of let them know 
that it is an option. They will probably get recognized on some leadership boards and stuff if they keep moving forward with it. But I don't want to overwhelm them with too much because I, I know when I started, I just had like a zillion notifications and it was just like, oh my God, what is going on? Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Why am I getting all these notifications? So just to kind of, you know, make me feel comfortable with that. I also give them at the bottom of the email access to Marie's wonderful new coach training website because that is what <laughs> I'm giving all of my new coaches to use you guys. They need, they need to start off with that, that before they do anything else, before you sit down with them and talk about coaching anything, they need to do at least two to three lessons or days before you actually get chatting about coaching and, and what it's all about, because they need to know that lingo and what to you know, expect from it. So after I send this wonderful email to them, I obviously talk to them, um, let them know, kind of that I expect them to start this training right away um, to do at least the three intro days or whatever. And um, as soon as they're done that, I schedule my first one-on-one -on -one, um, call with them. So it's either over Zoom chat or else um, in person. I'm like a definite like face-to-face -face kind of person. I, I like to obviously build relationships with people and have that um, relationship with them. And me, I'm kind of crazy, but I actually will like <laughs> drive. Like I drove to see Lauren the first time we met up. I drove to Camwood, got a speeding ticket. So worth it. But, um, <laughs> and I like to do my good old Starbucks coffee dates with the girls and just really make them feel comfortable about starting out and just know that like I'm there as a friend and their mentor um, and just to not make it so intimidating. So if I'm doing this um, long distance wise, I usually do Zoom. So I do a one-on-one -on -one, uh, first Zoom coach call and I basically... Um, discuss with them their goals about where they see themselves going with this business. So if they want to do this as a hobby, just as like a side thing, if they do want a side hustle or they actually want to like build this business and kind of where they see themselves going. Um, and then with that too, uh, obviously they've done the first three days of the coach training. So I answer any questions they have about it, if they have any questions about the lingo, success club, um, different ranks, anything like that, I go over that in the call. Um, so that's basically what we do there. And then, like I said, I have them welcomed into the team, into the tribe. And basically from there, with having a team, you guys, like you need to recognize <laughs> that you are now a leader, no matter, no matter how soon this is. If you're just starting out, if you just signed up, your first coach, if you literally have just like your mom signed up under you, like from that day, you are a leader and you need to recognize that. Um, and you know, fake it till you make it literally. That is how I started out. You know, I, I had a lot of disbelief in myself about leading a team, like I said. And the biggest thing that I, that really pushed me forward was making my own team page. So like I said, I just called it like Kaylee's PS coaches and like at first I had about like five people in there. And since then now we have like over 20 girls in there and making that team page was like, I always like felt like I couldn't because I didn't have a team name or like I, I wasn't, yeah, I didn't have a team. I didn't have enough people under me. I didn't, you know, know what to say in there, but like that is how I built my team culture um, other than like meetups and like, you know, seeing them face to face, but building that team culture in our team page. So checking in with them daily, giving them shout outs, giving them love, um, giving them support every day. And it's just more of an intimate space. Like I, I love Marie's page, but like to have my own is just to like connect with my girls more and just like know their goals. And like, we do set monthly goals. I have my own monthly calendar in there, like, like everything, just doing that. It seems to, it makes me feel like more of a leader too. And I think they can see that as well, that I'm like serious about this. And I like, <laughs> I want to mentor them the best that I possibly can and just provide them with all the resources they need and all the support that they can get. And I do hope I host my own team calls now. And that's, that's a scary thing as well that you got to get over. Like, seriously, I'm still like shaky, shaky doing this call, but like, you just have to, you just have to show up for them and, and teach them what you know and be there for them and like start a conversation. And we like talk on them like casually too. Like it's not, it doesn't have to be, you have to know everything to like train them on something like just be, like talk about confidence, talk about um, you know, how your first steps of signing one, someone up or like re leading your own challenge group, like stuff like that, that, that they feel uncomfortable doing from the start. Um, I have some notes here. I'm just looking down at, um, so basically overcome the fear, um, that you can't lead from the front. Like you need to overcome that. And, and with that, 
comes a lot of personal development and that that is what has changed the game for me um reading those kind of business leadership books or even just like self-confidence kind of books just to just to have that belief in yourself is huge before you have to believe in yourself before you can allow people to believe in you you know um and in our team page too something i do like i obviously I post them there lots and I, I like to recognize them for even like the smallest of little wins. So like if they have their first, you know, um, month hitting success club, they just became like they rank advanced on leadership ladder. They, um, they rank advanced to Emerald. Like I have a huge celebration for that. I gift them. My love language is gifting people. So I get them a little gift because that's just, that brings me joy and, and they don't expect that, but it's just a little something to show my gratitude for them for showing up and to believe in me in this process and just to be an integral member of this team. And that's huge. Um, so whichever way you like to show your love and support for them, do that. Um, and with that, so obviously, you know, being a leader, part of it is, you know, leading from the front and showing them what you expect, but you know, you can't just tell them what to do. You have to show them how it's done. <laughs> so you know, you have to, you have to give your coaches someone to follow and be the best possible example for them. So when you are preaching, you know, things to do with, you know, I talked to my last team call last week about power hours and how um, it's important to get those vital behaviors in every day, have that checklist in front of you, you know, sit down if it's even like 20 minute increments throughout your day, as long as you're getting that power hour in every day, that's how you're going to move your business. And, you know, if you're preaching that to them, you sure as heck better be doing that yourself. Um, and even if that means you miss a day or something, like everyone has their own, you know, everyone is busy. Everyone has their own time of day to get things done. If I like shit the bed one night, <laughs> like one day before, I'm going to hustle, hustle the next day and send out like three times as many invites, three times as many things that I'm doing because that's me showing up for them and not only for me, but for them. And that's, that's where it becomes so like amazing when you have that team behind you just to push you further as well. Um, and that all comes just from, yeah, believing in yourself and everyone that's surrounded with you. Um, another thing is to have a system in place that's, um, du du um, that can be duplicated easily. So taking the guesswork out of certain things. So like for me with my, um, team call last week, I made them my own kind of power hour checklist. I gave them Marie's resources as well, but just kind of, you know, taking the guesswork out of things, sharing what you know, and making sure they know how to show up every single day um, is huge. And set a good example in terms of, you know, you showing up to team calls, you participating in your challenge group, like commenting and loving on people every day, um, you showing up and listening to the national wake up call every week you doing things for your business that you expect out of them, you need to show up first. And that's so important because that's how people are going to follow you because they see you as that shiny mentor, you know, like you need to be doing what you're telling them. Um, another thing that, that has been really important with building my team is to, like I said, connect with them. Um, so like I said, meeting up with them in person is huge, um, but just getting to know them as a person um, and not just as a coach getting to know them and building a relationship with them is huge. You guys, um, I have gained so many friendships through this and have become so close with people that I just look pretty get emotional, but like just the people on my team now, they are literally my best friends. I talk to them every day. Like they are just so loving on me and I just support them fully. And it's just amazing that some of them I only met like two months ago or they like creep me on Facebook, Morgan creeped me. And now we're like so close. Like it's just, you need to build that relationship with them. And that's how it's going to build your team, your business. That's how they're going to want to duplicate. That's how they're going to want to, you know, build their own team because they're inspired by that. And they're, they feel connected to you and want to do it just for, it's not just for, it's not just about rank advancing. It's not just about that. It's about building that team. Um, so something else I was going to say, um, having like frequent reach outs with them and check-ins is huge. So if you can't always meet in person, sending them some love every week, doing like a check-in, like saying how things were going, how their invites went this week. Um, you know, asking how they feel about um, everything. If they feel uncomfortable with posting, if you haven't seen them really posting, um, just show them some love and support all the time, because I feel like even the, the simplest of message can make their day and really make an impact on them. Um, and 
go through them too when you when you obviously this will come with time obviously when you talk to them as well but just really be aware of their why and why they want to coach and why why they're doing this because when maybe they have those doubts and those fears and they don't have the confidence to keep going or they're just like having a bad day maybe you need to remind them of that and like they obviously need to remind themselves of it themselves and like get into that PD and dive into that. But if you know that and you know the, the fuel of their fire, like that's, that's huge too, just to help support them. Um, and another thing too with connecting and like building that team culture is to, you know, invite them to all of our coaching events. Um, we just had our super Saturday in Moose and it was super fun. And the two girls that came with me, are like Morgan is one of my newer coaches and her brand new coach Alex came and that was huge like she literally signed up as a coach two weeks ago and after that event she was just like whoa <laughs> like it really like opened her eyes to everything and she's really excited to dive into it because she got to experience that sense of community just in person because we don't always get that through coaching you know we have all these team calls and it's all online and stuff and sometimes you just need to like have that every quarter which is great we do but every once in a while just to get together and just like know why you're doing this and have that fire lit under you um so include them invite them to these events like i post on my team page about you know summit i post about yeah the next super saturday that's coming up in saskatoon i include them in that and include them in all the team calls and stuff and just invite them and like make them feel welcome um another thing with sustaining a team and just like yeah flooding them with love is to empower them you guys you know give them that confidence to show up to be vulnerable when they don't have it because you know they they need it most from you at first they're going to need it from you maybe later on they'll they'll start to build that themselves, but you need to be, you need to be there for them um, to help them build that. And, you know, you need to still keep working on yourself too, obviously. And this is something that sometimes when we're starting to build a team, we start to put our energy out towards our team versus ourselves. And that's something I caught myself with a little while ago. I was putting so much out to everyone <laughs> and giving so much that I didn't take time to fill my cup up and to, you know, take time for me and take care of myself so you know you got to have that balance too but just make sure that you're you know making them feel that praise every single day that they're feeling supported um get them in your challenge groups to your apprentice coach like asap like why not if they're wanting to do this like get them to start posting like i have currently in our group i usually like rotate every month with new coaches that want to post but right now we have like five, five coaches posting in there because they all want to post they all want to like you know, experience this so they can go on and spread their wings and have their own groups, right? So I want them to have that experience of posting and getting comfortable with it. Um, build that confidence so they can run their own groups. And that's how you duplicate. That's how, you know, they want to build that themselves and become their own sort of leader, you know? Um, and, you know, praise them, like I said. Reply to their Insta stories. That's like a simple thing. Like, just be like, you go girl, like rock it. Like, you know, they're, they're being vulnerable. They're sharing their journey on Insta stories, like, or they're posting or their transformations. Like I've had a couple of our girls do that. And that's, that's a huge deal. You need to praise them for that because that is, that is being vulnerable. That's putting yourself out there. And I, I remember when that was me, I, I, I loved the love I got from it. And that's why I kept doing it. So keep doing that for them. Um, send them quick notes love all the time and the last thing I wanted to kind of say was help them create their vision with what they want out of this business so something that I did today like I've been focusing lately on how can I best serve my team so how how can I like how do they learn best what do they need from me as their leader and so today I actually posted on our page a personality quiz and I was just like hey guys like if you have quick 10 minutes today can you just fill out this personality test? I just want to know, you know, what your personality is based on these questions. What, you know, if you're more of an introvert, extrovert, um, you need more support, you work best with others, like that, those kind of things. And I want them to send me their results and then I can, you know, go through that and just see how they learn best because everyone learns differently. And sometimes you always just think like, like me, I'm just like, Oh, like everyone will learn the same way I do. Like, this is what I like. This is what I prefer, but maybe they don't, maybe, maybe they're, they're not into the whole one-on-one -on -one 
meetups. Maybe they're not into the whole just Zoom. They need more from you all the time. Maybe they need that reassurance more every day. Um, you need to know what, what they need to meet their needs kind of thing. Um, so something that I added to the quiz today, I just kind of asked them at the end, like, I just want to like find out from you guys, like how you best learn, uh, what motivates you the most and how I can best support you and serve you more because that's, that's the most important thing to me is as their leader, I want to, I want to serve them the best way possible. Um, so I also asked them, you know, frequently every month, but frequently too, like, what are their goals with this? Where do they see themselves going? That vision? Do they, you know, want to build this? Do they see this more as just a fun hobby thing to do? Like, and no matter what they say, you still treat them the same way. Um, and you need to work together as a team to, to create that vision. If you have big goals for your team, you know, help them out and help them you know, build themselves, help them have that, that confidence to, to also become a leader and create that vision that, like I said, just keeps duplicating over and over again. And it's just become so rewarding and just like, holy crap, people want to run with me with this. Like what? <laughs> but it's once you put that, that belief in them and you just, yeah, like I said, you lead from the front and you just, you just show them that anything is possible. They'll think the same thing. Um, something that I, I listened to a call today on the Beachbody Champions page, and she basically said these three, like three little tidbits at the start, and I just wrote it down today, it just kind of sunk in. But she said the magic sauce or like magic to a successful team is confidence, belief, and discipline. So that's something that I was just like, yeah, that is so true. And that's literally what I kind of said over the call. Mic drop, I know. But like that's literally like the three keys to success with a team. You guys, like you, you need to have that confidence to, to, to reach far and beyond. You need to have that belief in yourself and each other, build each other up. And you need to have that discipline to stay consistent, to, you know, show up every day when you don't want to show up to, yeah, just to do this and not let your fears get in the way. Um, so, you know, create this magic with your team and continue to, to grow together and that's that's where it all happens that's where it keeps going from here and I this is only the beginning like this is this is just the beginning and I'm so excited to see these girls blossom and just like everything take off and you know you just gotta you gotta stick by their side and just like let them know that they'll they're supported 100% and that's the most important thing um, I think that's basically the gist of what I wanted to say um, holy mic drop Jeez. <laughs> Like, I'm just, like, notebook is getting filled oh up. Oh, my gosh. The beauty about this whole thing, you guys, is that it doesn't matter how long you've been coaching for. You can always learn. You can learn from people who you bring into the business. Like, you just, if you have an open mind and you have a learner's mind and you always commit to staying in that beginner's mindset, like, Keely, I just took so many freaking notes from you. The fact that you, you send do. an email, like, I don't even send an email to my new coaches. So I'm totally going to start implementing that because what better way for them to have it all in one place where they can just search for the email and be like, oh yeah, did I do those four things in that checklist in that email? Here's the links for all of them. You can attach the W8 Ben like sample and blank. Love that idea so much. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you because you've had huge, huge success with helping your new coaches hit Emerald very quickly. And I think that that's a really big deal because you help new coaches see that quick win. I see Success Club 5 and Emerald as a really big win for brand new coaches because it helps them realize that they can do it. And I think uh, I also see that the longer coaches wait to um, hit those things, the scarier they might become for them because then they start to second guess themselves. They start to doubt themselves. Uh, PD hasn't said it and stuff. Anyways, my question to you is, What's your, um, what's your explanation of Emerald, I guess, when you have a new co coach? I know you guys, you do like your welcome email and then you guys jump on the phone and you kind of explain uh, compensation, I think you said, right? Yeah, and yeah, we go goals. over goals and compensation. So, so, so basically, yeah, so basically when I, when I talk to them about their goals and stuff and like where they want to take this, so if they're, if they're wanting to, to build a significant side income or if they're wanting to just pay for their psychology, whatever it is, I, I do go over and I say, you know what, this is, this is how you start making income with this is by hitting this first rank of Emerald it's called. And that's basically having two coaches sign up under you. And these people don't need to be actual coaches. Um, I explain the whole spouse account thing. So with most of my girls that have hit it, 
they all have a spouse account actually. Mm -hmm. So that's what I, that's what I start off with. I say, you know what, like, um, sign up your spouse or for me, I have mama Mac that's soon to be diamond, (laughs) but like, you know, sign up those people so you can run their account. And if like for lots of girls that are, you know, doing ADA and stuff like they, you can use your spouse account to order your performance stack and keep them active. And then you can have Shakeology through you, like that kind of thing. And then I say too, like just it's simple as signing up your closest friend, sibling, someone that you know will want, will benefit from this and want to join with you. And you as a new coach, that's exciting for you to have your first person to, to mentor and stuff that's someone close to you. And that's most of my girls. It's usually their best friend or like sister kind of thing that they do sign up. But I do explain with, with Emerald, the benefits to it. I go over in the call, I say, you know, with Emerald, you get the opportunity for free leads, customer leads, as soon as you hit Emerald. So these are random people, Joe blows off the street that sign up um, on Team Beach Bond Demand with no coach and they get assigned to you. And if like, for me, I just explained, like I've obviously at, at the start of it, you don't get as many leads, but they keep coming as you keep getting volume, that kind of thing. Once you're Emerald. And I do say, you know, I've had people that have continued to sign up with Shakeology or order a shit ton of stuff and I make significant commission off them um, or actually have them join our challenge group. Like there's been a couple of people that have joined kind of ghost in there, but they, they've been in there and they've become discount coaches under me. So just kind of reaping the benefits of that and then also explaining um, just the opportunity for team bonus cycles every week. Um, that's how they can start kicking off their residual income versus just having to sell, 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 which that's not what we're about, but just saying that there's another option than just making commission and just kind of explaining the compensation plan with them and just saying, you know, this is how you start to make residual income. Once you start building a team and start building volume, you know, you won't have to sell, sell, sell so much if you have certain income goals every week kind of thing. So that's how I explain it to them. And that's their first big win I say. And like, I say, you know what, it's, it's easy to do in, you know, two days to a week. Like, how do you feel about that? Do you think you can talk to your spouse? Do you think you have someone like your sister or friend that would want to sign up and join our next group? What do you think? And then most of the time they're like, yeah, no, like I'll talk to, I'll talk to them and see what we can do. And then I'm like, awesome. Then we'll like totally celebrate you. And then that'll be kind of your first step to dive into this. And obviously when they do the team training too, they're going to know what Emerald is. Like they, they'll know. But just to reiterate that to them and the importance of it, of just, you know, building that confidence and just having that first rank celebration, that little first win is huge. And I I think it's super important and there's no reason why they can't hit that right away and why they shouldn't if they really want to do this, right? Love it. So I kind of just put that in their head. Um, I just want to touch on two things here. I love that you mentioned residual income because that is probably one of the biggest keys to why Emerald is so huge. When Mm -hmm. you get those free leads and you have somebody who's from Texas that might or might not respond back to your email and they're drinking Shakeology every single month, guess who's getting that $36 to $40? You are. It doesn't even matter if you're working with them, right? So that's a really beautiful way for you to for obviously try to reach out to them and try to work with them but residual income man as you start to grow your customer base and you start to get more free leads as well as the 14 dollars cycle you know as well as starting to build a team and feel those wins that's huge um one thing i wanted to mention really quickly is in order to stay active as a coach you only need to have 50 pv bought or sold so you don't have to actually purchase anything on your spouse account when you sign them up this is a really big misconception people think and i actually thought this for like the first year that i ran browning's account but you actually only need to transfer one customer uh, to them each month and have one customer order go through with them each month in order to have that 50 pv right so super super simple and if you're like i don't have enough money to buy shakeology on mine on hd and then performance stack on the other on hd at this time totally fine. So then get your Shakeology or performance stack HD on yours and then have one customer sign up with one order under your spouse uh, every month. And it is huge. You guys, once you start to build a business, if you were in the, like, if you're on this call, you're building a business, let's be honest, right? You're not on this call just for shits and gigs. Um, So I love you all for that. But if you're on this call, you're in it to build a business. So why would you not sign up your spouse and have two freaking business accounts, right? I make Brandon a significant amount of income on his spouse account. And especially now that he is where he is, and I've built up uh, a coaching team under him as well that I personally mentor. And I just say, Hey, listen, it's going to say Brandon's your coach. It's hundred percent me. I'm still your coach. Like this is just, I have two counts. 
that helps both of us because I have, he's under me, the volume contributes, I'm helping more coaches, I'm building him up for different rank advancements and stuff, you know, so it helps you in the long run, you get two coaching accounts that you get to utilize. And um, yeah, I also just wanted to mention this really quick, because it came up today, again, there's this thing called the U plus two rule. So you are allowed to sign up yourself, <clears throat> as well as two people who are related to you and live in the same household with the same credit card. So uh, it's, it, they get a little sticky if you use your credit card for somebody else. So just the U plus two rule entails it. So for example, Kaylee signed up her mom. They live in the same household. They're related, right? So they can be on the same credit card. So just so you guys um, know that. that. Anyways, are there any questions? Oh, Sandy has one. Yeah. Um, just actually because you talked about the 36 to $40 from the Shakeology commission wise, Britt and I were just talking about that. Can you just clarify, is that only if they're a customer? Like, so you get uh, commission, you get 25% commission on everything that goes through your shop, right? So if you get, but a does that include your discount coaches? Like I'm getting the commission on my discount. No, I didn't think so. I only get volume from my discount coaches, but you get commission from your customers. Is that yes. correct? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So That's if right. you're getting customer leads every single month, you're getting that residual income from your customer leads, whether or not you work with them personally or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not a lot of people, like I, I send out this email to my leads too, just a symbol like, Hey, I'm assigned as your coach or whatever. I run these groups every month. If you want to join, feel free. And I, you know, I give them that option, but lots of them, like I literally had the yeah, two people that replied to me out of the hundreds of people and one that joined our group and became a discount coach. But like, other than that, I make the residual income from them because they're just customers under me. So it's all the compound effect, right? And the longer you coach you guys, the more customers you're going to have in your back office. And eventually you're going to go, wait, what? Like I've got a lot of peeps up in there. Not a lot of them respond to me, but they're in there. <laughs> and that's also one of the things that I got taught right when I signed up, one of the most important things was as you're chatting with people, if they're asking you anything about price or wanting to view things, the very first thing I do is a free account. Um, tell them no obligation, but do the free account because if in six months they turn around and order something without talking to you, guess who gets that credit for it is because they're signed up already under me. So as mm -hmm. new coaches, super important. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've got about four minutes left. Keely, I just have one more question for you unless anybody yeah. else has questions. I, I just want to say one thing. I oh, think what? that we, we should totally like when we have our coach um, power hours, sometimes we should talk about um, like as we get more advanced and stuff, um, little tricks of the trade and stuff, because that's where I feel sometimes I get lost is okay. it, it just, lots of it's still really over my head but yeah I feel like I could probably do some of these things but I'm not even aware of them sometimes so like what would be an example Stace um well I just learned a whole shitload right now <laughs> nice learning process like you mean like yeah. how to share google doc like that yeah, kind of like stuff just talk, well not not even just computers but just talking about how about building our business together okay. Not only just like writing and sending emails and stuff, but actually yeah. talking about how to build. Yeah, I think a lot of what you mean is like how to hit your ranks, how to move your legs, how to move people yeah. over, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay, so we, you know what we could do is we could have one power hour uh, in the month for the list making and then uh, another one we could like split in half. It could be like half inviting and half talking about tips and tricks and strategizing or something. Cool. Okay, my last question for you, Miss Salid. Um, because I know that you are just like me, because guess what, like attracts like, and I know that you often struggle with anxiety and self-doubt, I would love for you to give any tips that you have on days when you wake up and you just feel like a sack of shit and you're like, I can't lead anybody today, I don't want to show up today. How do you kick yourself in the pants and get over it and show up anyways? Um, I would say I start out with, PD. Like I will, if I'm not into the book I'm reading, I will search up an inspirational video. I will listen to a podcast that I need to hear. I will just kind of have my me time in the morning and unplug, like just not focus on looking into our team page, looking into my notifications, um, looking into my online office, that kind of stuff. Um, just kind of take time for me, fill my cup up because I don't want to portray that stress and anxiety and negativeness to my girls because obviously we all we all go through we ebb and flow with this like it's not always it's 
sunshines and rainbows with what we do because it's a business. Like, you know, it's not always going to be hunky dory. Um, but you, you need to obviously kind of (laughs) just show up for them because this is why you're doing it. Like this is, if I didn't have my team, I wouldn't be doing this every day. Like I show up for them, not only for future people that are joining us or want to join, I show up for them every day because I want them to build this too. And I want them to want this and reiterate their why every day. So I got to do that for them. And that's, that's why I do it. Love it. Thank you. I just, okay, boom, drop the mic. (laughs) You know what? We have less than a minute left and I know it's going to get cut off. So I'll just say this last little piece quick. Thank you so much for sharing your story tonight. Thank you so much for sharing your best practices. Um, I love you. We love you. And I'm just, I'm so honored you guys to have this team. We are growing and expanding and the people who we continue to bring in are just epic quality humans. And it's, it's really, really beautiful. We're creating something really huge here. So you guys should be so, so proud. Um, I'll put the recording up in the team page and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Tuesday. Thank you guys guys. so much for showing up. Love you all. Oh, share that personality quiz also in their team page. Oh yeah. In the recording. Yeah. Goodbye. (laughs) I got you. you.